the chance to get the guy who directed Lolita to shoot your fake moon landing film, I mean, you just gotta do it. Hello America, I'm Neil Armstrong, first man on the moon. I just feel like this is not believable at all, and that if they did this, they should have got like a real astronaut. I'm Canadian, I'm a dairy farmer. You know, we had uh, done this before actually, we had a really good time uh, faking the JFK assassination, got uh, Clint Eastwood to shoot that one. Talk about efficient, it was one setup, one shot, and we were out by lunch. You know, we thought that yo, Stanley would be the same, but uh, buh, we were wrong. On set, he just went crazy. We never knew that he'd be such a megalomaniac. And I'm talking bona fide psychotics over here. This guy is a category six storm of genius. Right away, he knew it'd be easier to train an actor to astronaut than an astronaut to astronaut. I need you to act like a man on the moon. You're a man on the moon. Just skipping right now. Kubrick has this saying, if you want to make an omelet, you got to crack 150 eggs, which is also his rule for catering. Take 47 and go. Take 48 and go. Wow. No, Neil. He told me he was gonna bring in some monkeys. Turns out he wanted to film the damn things breaking each other's heads open with these bones. I guess if you do look closely, you can you can see one, uh, you know, humping Luna Landa. We called him Roscoe. He was really a, he was a, a fucked. But, you know, Stanley's an artist. We gotta trust the artist's visions. All right, Neil, I'm gonna need you to jump onto the ground and say the line. That is one small step for man, Neil. one giant leap for mankind. Um, you need to do the line as written. It's, that's the stuff moons are made of. That's the stuff moons are made of. And then I'm gonna need you to bend down, pick it up, put it in your mouth, and check if it's cheese. I'm not putting the, the moon, the fake moon dirt in my mouth. We know it's not gonna be cheese up there, Stanley. Once he started dropping hints that he thought that the moon was actually cheese, you know. How could that ever make sense? We knew that we, maybe we had to rein him in a little bit. He's a god. If it's cold, he makes it cold. If you can't handle that, you get off the set. He made the set the actual temperature of the moon. I watched a man freeze to death. Stanley and I are gonna be working together for a long time. Everybody says I do a good clearance. Stanley put the body in a black box, kept the box on set to intimidate us. Whenever anyone questions Stanley, he just stares at the box. That's some CIA level mindfuckery. We, we really appreciated that. I just want to see my family again. We're not doing another take, Stanley! Oh my god, Neil's down. Neil, you think you maybe got one or two more in you? Neil? Yeah, Neil's gone. Neil's dead. You know, it's a shame about Neil's family, uh, whatever his name was, Lan Kyle. We're gonna need a new Neil. You don't mind if I put these on, it's a little bright for me. I owed Stanley a favor, you see. When one of the actors, Kubrick quit, as they call it, I was able to slide right in. I don't think anyone noticed. I'm that fucking good. It was a few years later until I realized I actually didn't go to the moon. Maybe it was just the benzines talking, but it felt pretty real to me. We made this whole other film, which was supposed to be nothing. It was just to explain why Stanley was uh, playing around with, you know, space dolls and rocket ships. We just gave it a fake name. We just said, call it, I don't know, uh, just a bunch of numbers, 2001. Right? I think someone was like, let's call it 2000. I said, uh, oh, 2001, <laughs> you know, because I wanted the credit. It wasn't even supposed to be a real movie, which, yo, know, which is why it don't make no sense. I mean, what the hell is a, a star baby? Is that the same baby we put in that black box? No, yeah, that kid, that kid was crying on set. Is that the one we put in the box? He's a very interesting filmmaker. I'll, I'll, I'll give him that. I prefer Lolita.
History will thank me for that one. And by me, I mean Jack Nicholson. 